Hey Natalie, it's Michael. I wanted to show you the uh, LA Cattleman Black Series or Black Label um, theme and, and where we've gotten. There are a few notes and things that I have sent back to the guys to work on, so I'll uh, I'll let you know of those as we walk through this, just so you don't um, call those out as well. Uh, just know that we're I've seen the errors and we're working on them. So uh, under the themes, we've got this Black Series theme. theme. I'm just going to jump into the customizer here. And uh, we can walk through this. Let this load up. All right, so we've got the the homepage here, and and one thing you'll notice is there's not the LE uh, Black series, or or I forget what it's actually called in the the comp, but uh, that link is not here. So I've I've let the guys know that it might already be in the code as something that shows up once we add it, but. Um, I just, you know, it's not here. I don't see it, so I don't want to miss it. Here, I'll full screen this so it looks a little better. Um, again, we're going to be adding that to this navigation. So this is going to become uh, two lines uh, after that. So I don't know if we want to get rid of new. Um, if, if since 1878 can go under something else or like how we want to manage this navigation. But that's just going to add more space here which is ultimately going to break it to two lines. So uh, something to keep in mind, uh, I'm on a 13-inch MacBook Pro with the Retina screen, so it uh, looks good here, but as soon as you start you know, getting the screen size down just a little bit here, um, it seems to hold on for quite a while, but it eventually breaks down. So that's probably about how it's going to look if we add that new one. Uh, so there's that's the home page. Everything else is the same here. Uh, and then I'm going to jump over under this page uh, selector. I'm going to go to the black label. Uh, so this is under the black label page. Um, real quick, uh, the one thing I saw off the bat for the guys was the searches is not showing up. Uh, again, the search is going to drop to the second line because there's just not enough room for it up here. So in your comp, you had that. I mean, if we go to, if I were to break my screen way over, Oh, come on. And drag this up. We'd have plenty of room on larger monitors, but for people with uh, smaller monitors like myself, um, the search will be breaking to the second line. Uh, so that's just something we have to keep in mind, uh, especially with the new edition of the uh, this black series page or black label page. I forget what it's called. Um, so that's one thing. Then we have. Uh, Moving on down, we will uh, look at the desktop first. So we've got everything's lined up just like you would expect. We've got our, our header image here. We've got the text below. We've got our three image layout. We do have hover states on these for, for uh, shoppable pieces if you would like to. Um, those links could be removed, and those will disappear if you don't want them. Then we got our um, text left, image right. Then image left, text right. In the spotlight, we have here with the logo. And if my monitor is a little smaller, so it will overlay that image just a little bit if that's OK. If not, I can have them push that up to not break that on a little larger screen. Obviously, uh, that will be pulled up a little bit. Then we have our LE Life and then the footer as it is. Um, everything is black and gold. So we've made those changes on the on the uh, sticky navigation. You can see the search kind of drops down, but that's how it is on the live site too. And then we've got this yellow cart area. So that is the desktop. Let's jump down to mobile, and I'll tell you real quick. This header is not the right color, so that note is out there. That should be a black background with the gold logo. Um, I assume we want to keep the cart on that, the comp did not show the cart on this page, but um, probably want to keep that there. So I told them to keep that as is, uh, to keep that cart there as, as that gold area and just change the rest of this to black uh, in the gold logo. Uh, but moving on down, you can see um, here's with the link overlaid. If you want that, if not, we remove that. Totally fine. Uh, if you need to change those colors, um, I don't think those colors are editable no we can probably add them to be editable if you want to change the color of those links if you want to keep them if not we just need to remove the link 
Um, so yeah, just scrolling on down here, you can see in the spotlight, we got everything. There's no signature on the mobile comp, so it's, it's disappeared once we hit this mobile and tablet view. And yeah, there we go. Everything looks pretty similar. So uh, to move over to editing, if you navigate to this page in the customizer, uh, you can see here under the sections, we have our alternating content. Um, and this is where all of the details of this page will be. So the first one, we have our image here. So if you need to change out this image, you can do so right here. If um, on mobile, it'll, it will uh, crop to the kind of the right side, or maybe it's right down the middle almost. Um, so if you need a mobile specific image, I, I'm just gonna go ahead and ask the guys to put mobile specific images for each one of these image areas. I didn't notice that on uh, the, the editor. So especially for this header area as that image might wanna be cropped differently. Um, so I'll, I'll have them add that in there. But we have our image there. Um, so you can change that out if you need to. There is a CTA title and link that will show up on here if you'd like it to. Right now we don't have it, so it's it's just hidden. Um, you got the width. You can hide it on mobile. And then the sort order on mobile, that should actually be sort order on desktop. So um, I'll show you how that works here in just a second. But that's really the sort order for desktop, not mobile. Uh, the definition is wrong, and I'm going to have the guys fix that. Then we have our black label, so that's just found in this next section here. So we can close down this section, open up this black label one. You have our title and text color that you can choose here, uh, which those are selected to be that gold and white. So update your title, which is this main one. Your subtitle is the top one, and then your text is down below. The text alignment we have is centered and 100% width. And so then let me show you real quick this sort order. So if I were to change this to sort number one and then change this image, since it's number one, now I need to change it to number two. You can see how this will, will change places. So if you wanted to manage the order of these, you can do so. Um, I'm actually just going to revert all those changes back. So then just continue on down. You can see um, you just go from top to bottom here. We can look at this image. Uh, this is the right side image because that is sort order number four. Um, so it's one, two, three, four, which uh, maybe should change that, that order here. I'm just going to change it like that. So we got three here. Um, we have our image here. It's gonna it's gonna crop to the center of that image, um, and then we have the view collection text with the link. We have it as fifty percent width because it's side by side images, uh, and so that will work in that way. Next image, shop just in. We got a fifty percent width here. You can change that image out. Um, then moving on down, we have our elevated text. Everything else is going to be up until the detailed is going to be 50% width uh, unless you specify it. Otherwise, you can change that to 100 and that'll just take over this whole column then. But we have our title color, text color. Uh, there's a subtitle option if you wanted to have some text above it. And then you could edit that text right here. Sort order is five. So we got one, two, three, four, five next one will be six which is this image it does have the option for the cta link overlay like these two if you want it then we have our image here on the left and then our detailed on the right these are all 50 percent and then we move down to our spot in the spotlight so in the spotlight is going to be its own kind of section with um, a bunch of options so we have our title here there's a subtitle spot that you can add stuff to. That'll go above if you want it. If not, it'll just hide it and pull that area up. We have our text here that's on the right. We have our signature, which is an image. So you can change out that image if you need to. Uh, we have our left image. We have our image left overlay, which is right here. And then we have our image bottom. So you can change out those. You can hide the, any of these on mobile. You can, and this is the sort order of a nine. 
Um, so that's all of that area. We have our LA life, which is the hashtag. And I've messed with some stuff, so the JavaScript's messed it up. But we have our hashtag there. Then you have your text that you can put there. We've centered it 100% width. And then we have our, that's the Instagram, but I think it's messed up. I need to refresh this page. Reload. Yes, now that's showing up there. So for that, we've just put in the, the Insta gallery in the div. So you can leave that as is. That'll pull in that gallery. Um, and yeah, you can add more content to this if you if you want to. Uh, in the mobile view, um, it seems that if you wanted to change the order of these, that would be done by dragging and dropping these sections. Uh, so it looks like the mobile order is based on what is here. And then the the desktop order is based on this sort order. Um, I'm having Scott run through this as well to give back any design notes that he might see. And then uh, we're going to make all those changes. But wanted to get you in here so your team can start looking around at this uh, since we need to have this wrapped up on Friday. Um, so just let me know any other notes that you might see or, or changes that you might need. Um, again, if you need to make text changes, you see something that was misspelt or you want to change the content, just go ahead and jump in here and start editing this content wherever you see it. Um, let me know on the button labels. We can remove those um, if we would like to. You just go in here and remove that link. When you remove that link, that button will disappear and it will no longer be on the hover state. Um, I might need to save this in order because it's broken that image. So I'll just make sure that that doesn't happen if we remove it. Actually, um, I'll test that after this video. But let me know anything. Uh, happy to uh, jump on a call and walk through anything if you need.